and that's why I have accepted my offer and it's under contract right now. So how about in new construction? Let's talk about new construction. <laughs> What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, the incredible realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today I'm going to show you how to negotiate for your next property. If you are planning to buy a property and of course it's buyer's market and if you are working with your realtor or real estate agent, make sure to watch this video because I'm going to show you how I did my last deal or my current deal which I did or negotiate for my buyer's client. And also I will give you some tips which property that you need to purchase if you want to make some good deals or to make your favor as a buyer or a home buyer but before I start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also the most important thing is smash that like button for me share this video to all your family and friends so without further ado let's jump into it so first thing that I would like to say first is what is the current market today is it a buyer's market or it's a seller's market because that's most important before making an offer to the property that you would like to buy why this is important here is the number one thing because if you are buying a property in a buyer's market what will happen is it's on buyer's favor it means like whatever you want to buy you know they will give you some big favor to accept your offer because there's not much demand right now or not much demand for the buyer who wants to buy a property because of the interest rates what's going on all right so only few people who's willing to pay for the property that you want to buy so it means like the seller who is waiting or selling their property which is no one's buying so whatever you put in there on the table they are most likely to be accepted okay <coughs> excuse me what? that is the buyer's market if there's no buyers want to buy a property there's no demand okay but if we reverse if it's in seller's market what will happen is when the seller is selling the property and there's a lot of buyers that who wants to buy due to demand or maybe because of the interest rate is a little bit low or maybe the current market or the real estate market is doing good so it means like a lot of people who wants to buy a property so what will happen is when you put some offer on the property that you want to buy there's another offer and another offer and also for the new construction what will happen is there's a bid as well okay if you don't know about a bid what will happen is like if there's a lot of people who wants to buy a property what will do or what will the builder do is they will put some bid bid for let's say for starting from 200,000 and there's a lot of people who wants to buy a property right so they will put some bid for 210,000 and some buyers will want to put like 220,000 250 60 70 up to 300,000 that's what happen if it's in seller's market wow. so right now it's in buyer's market so they don't do that one in fact they will do some big favor to you so if you are buying a property right now which is this current market is so good because like everything is on buyer's favor especially you if you're watching this and you are thinking like should I buy now or later on don't wait later on it's just because it will hard for you to negotiate the property that you wanted to buy okay I hope that makes yeah. sense so let's go to my tip number one on how to negotiate to the property that you wanted to buy this work as well if you are planning to buy a new construction this is not just about like the resale house or used house when you put this together as well if your realtor or real estate agent good enough they will understand what I'm trying to say here so let's go to my tip number one so what you need to do for your first tip hold on it's a bit easier so what you need to do on the first tip that I'm going to show you is look at the properties on the MLS or if you don't know what is the MLS, it is the multiple listing service or they will see it from Zillow.com or Realtor.com or all the listing website that you can pick or choose. And this is the number one that you need to think. So if you see the property for sale, let's say it's been on the market for so long, let's say for four months or five months. And then what happened is you will see the date there from 300 thousand for example and then after like 30 days they drop it to three percent or two percent or one percent let's say they drop it for three thousand which is one percent of three hundred thousand and no one's buying still and then again they drop it for two percent which is six thousand the property from three hundred thousand become to two hundred and ninety six thousand two hundred and ninety thousand to become two hundred eighty thousand or below because of no one's
one's buying so the seller really really want to sell this property but no one's buying because of the current real estate market right now so what will happen is as you as the buyer what you need to do is just go to that property and if that property has been listed for at least four months or five months and the prices keep going down this is the good time to put some offer yes that's correct this could work with new construction as well all right so what will happen is the new construction let's say the price is from this high and the first first two months no one's buying it it's still there they will drop it again and there's no one's buying again they drop it again so this is the best time to put some offer to the property why because no one's buying so what you need to do or what you need to tell to your real store real store <laughs> real estate agent or realtor like me what we will do is we will make some offer letter all right so what is the offer letter now the offer letter is this is like the agreement that you the buyer wants to buy the property we will make an offer to this property right now let's say the property current listed value from 300,000 and now after five months is only like 280,000 so what we need to do is we will put make a lower on that one right I'm not saying low ball it but you know it's buyer's market no one's buying the property right so what you need to do is i will look at the property if it's the property is good condition you know look at the roof look at the ac look at the electricity look at the state of the property really so if it's in good condition you know i will make an offer twenty five thousand below asking price all right so let's say if the property is two hundred and eighty thousand, i will make some maybe two hundred fifty thousand. that is thirty thousand below asking price right so they will say why this is too low so what will i will do before i submit the 250,000 to that seller i will say this property is good but at the current market right now i seen that your property has been listed there for almost five months and you know what's buying i mean like i am happy to give this offer to you based on my research and i've seen like the property value of this one is this is such amount of what i'm giving to you and also my client as you as a buyer watching this video and me as a realtor i will say as well like once this offer has been accepted my buyer or my client we are willing to make forward straight away all right that's the good stuff when making an offer because especially if no one's buying the property and if the seller is very motivated to sell this property they will accept your offer and that's why i have accepted my offer and it's under contract right now so how about in new construction let's talk about new construction in new construction is the same thing if you are thinking about buying a new construction what you need to do is again check this market how long the property has been on the market if it's the property it's been on the market for so long no one buying it this is their chance to buy or make an offer to this property worst case scenario for the new construction they will say oh no we don't we don't accept any offer so you know keep that one that's worst case scenario at least you tried it right but who knows right in this current market if they want to sell the property you know they will accept the offer sometimes they will say they will negotiate it instead of saying if you put like 250,000 they might say oh this is too low I'm asking 280 and they might say make it 270 and you say like okay I'm happy to accept instead of 270 let's meet halfway I will go for 265 or whatever you are comfortable with to counter that offer so if you think about it some people saying right now it's not a good time to buy a property every time is a good time to buy a property sometimes they will say the interest rate is quite high but sometimes you need to connect with your realtor like me or real estate agent to give you some good advice what's going on because some people doesn't know about the real interest rates what's going on they just follow the media and so on but as far as my lender say my connection I have a lender I have like few lenders that I could lean on and then I can ask them what is the interest rate right now they will give me some current news what's going on and from then we will go from there okay so this is the video for today Hey guys i know this video is too long but if you stay in this video until this end comment down below offer so i can see how many people who watch this video from this start until the end and i really appreciate your time watching my video all the way down here and i really appreciate your time once again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like and share this video to all your friends if you found this value so i know i'm talking too much so i'm ending my video right now and i'll see you on my next video peace as you, as the seller, as you, as the buyer, as you, as the buyer. What?